This morning on Central Coast News at 5 o'clock, day two of El Nino's wet and windy weather front hitting the area. Claire is tracking the storm and we're live in Pismo Beach this morning with what you can expect when it comes to high surf. Plus a tally of all the damage after yesterday's drenching in Santa Barbara. KCOY 12 Central Coast News starts now. Live from the largest news team on the Central Coast with important local coverage, this is KCOY 12 Central Coast News in the morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm Tony Cabrera. And I'm Clary Anderson. It's 5 o'clock, January 6th. And here we go again, yeah. round two of I this know. El Nino weather pattern that's going on, and we got hit strong yesterday. Yeah, definitely, Tony. We had some heavy rain move through in the morning, and that's exactly what we're seeing again at this time. Looking at our live storm tracker, Dombler radar, check it out. Looks like up in San Luis Obispo, you guys are getting the beginning of the front moving through. Some even some lightning off the coast. Cambria area is starting to see some heavy rain there past the Robles. You're going to see that rain here pretty soon. San Luis Obispo down towards Arroyo Grande. Even Santa Maria going to be seeing that heavy rain moving through. Already seeing some of that. Lompoc also rain. Solvang starting to see scattered showers, but down towards Santa Barbara, clearer conditions. A flash flood watch is in effect through Thursday morning, again, up through the recent burn areas, up towards Paso Robles and in Slow County, again, because of those flash flood conditions. We also have some high wind advisories, but here's a look at the next hour or two. We have some heavy rain moving through San Luis Obispo around 6 o'clock and down through Santa Maria. Our first alert traffic powered by Waze this morning. We do have reports of an accident. No injuries, but reports of a vehicle sliding off onto the creek in the 101 area through Gaviota. So be careful out there. We'll talk more about how much more rain we could see today coming up in just a bit. Back to you. All right, Claire, thank you. And dangerous conditions are expected along Central Coast waters. Also, what would you do with $450 million? More on the Powerball tally coming up next. And massive headaches for commuters on the 101 near Salomar Beach and what to watch out for coming up today. And here's a look at our traffic this morning. First alert, traffic powered by Waze, so in pretty good conditions on the roads this morning. We did have an accident earlier on the 101 through Gaviota, but be very careful out there. We're expecting another wet morning. We'll have more weather, traffic, and news coming up after the break. The bad weather is making working out at a local gym a lot more difficult. We'll tell you what folks are doing to keep in shape while it rains. And speaking of rain, here's our live storm tracker Doppler radar this morning. Rain moving into San Luis Obispo County, down through Santa Maria. Still dry in Santa Barbara, but we're looking at all places to get some more showers today. And with our first alert traffic powered by Waze, looking clear if you're driving between Santa Barbara. If you have to go to Los Angeles today, the 101 near the Solomar Fire area is open. We'll have a complete look at your forecast coming up after the break. Good morning, everyone. Here is a look at our first alert traffic powered by Waze this morning. Check it out. Our camera has got some raindrops on it because it is raining out again this morning. So be very careful as you hit the roads this morning. Our first alert traffic powered by Waze. No major accidents to report at this time. If you are driving between Santa Maria up to San Luis Obispo, you're definitely going to be going towards the rain showers. It's going to take you about 26 minutes. Let's talk about the rain now looking outside with our first alert traffic powered by waves. Right now, our major rain is up north in San Luis Obispo. You can see it's moving closer. This is a line of thunder and lightning storms. You can see that bolt of lightning there. It's looking like it's going to move more in the very northern part of Slow County, but these storms today do have the potential to bring thunder and lightning up and down the central coast. So zooming in this morning, it looks like the heavier rain moving into Cambria, past the Robles. You'll see that soon. San Luis Obispo, your also edge on that heavy rain. Santa Maria looks like some sprinkles falling right now. Lompoc, a little bit more rain down towards that area. Santa Barbara is mostly dry right now, but again, the rain moving southward. So we'll see that in the south coast area later this morning. We do have a flash flood watch in effect again through tomorrow morning for the recent burn areas up towards Paso Robles and in Slow County this for today through tomorrow. Future cast, we're seeing more rain in our area. Here's 530 again, like we're seeing that storm continuing to move through Slow County, moving down towards Santa Maria by 630. Santa Barbara, you do notice you'll start to see rain by that time. Continuing 730 slow, another heavy rainfall down through Santa Barbara. What you do notice, we don't really get any breaks this morning, continuing hour by hour to see that heavy rainfall. What you will notice is 
around lunchtime into the afternoon time, we do start to see a little bit lighter conditions, but definitely still rain showers moving through our area. Again, pop-up thunderstorms are possible. And then we do still see scattered showers tonight and even into our Thursday. Here's a look at our rain totals over the past 24 hours. Santa Maria over half an inch, over an inch of rain at the Slow Cal Poly campus there over half an inch in Paso, Lompoc almost an inch there, Santa Barbara had over an inch, so we're getting some pretty good rain totals out of this and we are not done yet. Here's that future cast rain for today. For this morning through later tonight, we could see another half of inch of rain falling up and down the central coast. So we're going to see some pretty impressive rain totals once this entire event is done. Through Thursday, again, more rain in the forecast. I do want to talk about the high surf warning because with these storms, we have some big waves moving in, especially for the central coast area. Wednesday today, 15 to 20 foot wave with sets up to 25 feet. This is in effect through Friday morning, and we do have a high surf advisory for the Santa Barbara South Coast area through 10 o'clock on Friday as well. Now, a coastal flood advisory because of all of this, so again, the potential for those low-lying parking lots and beaches to flood are possible. Winds are going to be strong as well, southwest 20 to 30 miles per hour, especially up in Paso Robles and the 154 area today. Now, your temperatures this afternoon are going to be pretty mild, very similar to yesterday. Again, upper 50s and slow, 56 for Santinez and low 60s in Santa Barbara. And their seven-day forecast for Santa Maria scattered showers again continue tomorrow. Slight chance for Friday, but then again, in the forecast for Saturday. Tony, back to you. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Claire. Of course. Welcome back, everybody. It's just about 527 this morning. And Claire, round two of another yeah. uh, another set of storms here. El Nino is, is hitting us hard, right? Yeah, definitely having those effects. And we're seeing some strong winds. We've got rain up in Slow County this morning. Even a few thunder and lightning storms are possible. And here's a look at our forecast for today. Temperatures in the upper 50s. So, Tony, it is definitely going to be an interesting day with some very gusty winds. That's right. And stick with us for continuing coverage of this storm. We have live team coverage with reporters up in Pismo Beach in Santa Barbara. We are covering it all. Stick with us right here on KCOY 12 Central Coast News. This morning on Central Coast News at 530, round two of El Nino storms this week. Claire Anderson has the up to the minute forecast all morning long. Plus a live report from Pismo Beach as today's storms expected to bring high surf. And cars are being stolen by the numbers in Paso Robles. How you can help find the people responsible. KCY 12 Central Coast News starts now. Live from the largest news team on the Central Coast with important local coverage, this is KCY 12 Central Coast News in the morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm Tony Cabrera. And I'm Clary Anderson. It's 5.30, January 6th. And we enter round two of this week's El Nino storms. We have live team coverage all morning long. We have reporters in Pismo Beach and Santa Barbara, plus yeah. Claire's first alert forecast. But let's start outside. KCY 12's Natalie Tavidian is live in Pismo Beach with a look at today's expected high surf. Good morning, Natalie. Coming up, a Santa Maria hotel could get a new lease in life. More on who could benefit from its remodel. And the delayed crab season is now in full swing. We'll tell you more on some of the benefits created by the delay. Also, it's not too late to stock up on sandbags. We'll tell you where you can get them in one local city coming up. And here's a look outside this morning. Our Caltrans cameras, you're driving through the Pismo Beach area. It's raining up there. You can see it because of those drops on the camera. So be very careful this morning. Our first alert traffic powered by waves. If you are driving between Santa Maria up to San Luis Obispo, clear conditions there. But again, we still have those several accidents between Buellton and the Gaviota State Park area. We'll have more weather, traffic and news coming up after the break. Up next, the rain created a mess up and down the central coast. And it continues today. We have a live report in Santa Barbara to see a creative spin on dealing with the wet weather. And here is that live storm tracker Doppler radar showing the rain moving through Slow County this morning. Even if you pop up thunderstorms, we can see that throughout the afternoon as well. And with our first alert traffic powered by waves, we do have reports of CHP closing one lane to retrieve a vehicle that went down the side of the road on the 101 northbound just near the tunnel area. So be careful out there this morning. We'll have a complete look at your forecast coming up after the break.
Good morning, everyone. Here is a look at our first alert traffic. Caltrans camera this morning. Rain continues up and down the central coast. We can see it out there this morning. Again, be careful with lots of standing water on the roadways. Our first alert traffic powered by Waze. If you are driving through Santa Maria up towards Arroyo Grande this morning, roads are looking clear all the way down towards the 101. But again, remember, we do have some vehicles that have spun out near the Gaviota State Park area. Let's talk about our forecast. We have rain again this morning falling up and down the coast. Here is a look. Live storm tracker Doppler radar. Most of that rain right now in San Luis Obispo. You just saw that right there. That's some fun thunder and lightning associated with those storms and they're moving this way. So probably Cambria area. You might see some thunder and lightning storms this morning, but there is a chance of it everywhere throughout the day. Live storm tracker Doppler radar a little bit closer. San Luis Obispo seeing some Heavier rain there, that's that orange and yellow color all the way up towards Cambria and Paso Robles. Not as heavy rain in Santa Maria right now, clearer conditions there. Also, Orchid area clear there. Los Alamos towards Solvang, scattered showers, and as you move down towards Santa Barbara, pretty clear there right now. We do have flash flood watch in effect through tomorrow morning. Paso Robles, again, through the burn areas, especially in Slow County. Be very careful up there. We get those quick, heavy downpours, and that's when we see the potential for dangerous conditions. Future cast today, those uh, clouds continue to move rain up and down the coast. San Luis Obispo, Santa Maria, down through Santa Barbara by 8 o'clock. What you will notice is as this clock moves hour by hour, we're still seeing that heavy rain. We really don't get any let up of this rainfall until possibly this afternoon. But Santa Barbara, South Coast, you're still seeing that. Scattered showers through Santa Maria and San Luis Obispo through 2.30. So again, rain just keeps on coming. Pop-up thunderstorms again possible through this afternoon. Rain totals for the past 24 hours, pretty good. This is some biggest rain totals we have been seeing with any storms last several months. Slow Cal Poly got over an inch as well as over an inch in Santa Barbara and Goleta. Santa Maria got over half an inch and almost an inch in Lompoc. We're definitely going to see more here today. Here's your future cast rain to 830 this morning as we continue into tonight. Look at this. We could see about a half more inch just in today. Overnight into Thursday morning, about three quarters of an inch. So more rain is definitely expected to fall and accumulate up and down the coast. We do have a high surf warning to talk about. That is in effect till Friday, 4 a.m. with local sets up to 25 feet today and through tomorrow. We do have a high surf advisory for the Santa Barbara South Coast area through 10 o'clock. Also, a coastal flood advisory. When we get these large waves moving in, heavy rainfall, we have the potential for flooding, especially along those beaches. That is through tomorrow afternoon. Very windy conditions expected again with gusts near 45 to 55 miles per hour, specifically for up and past the Robles and the 154 area. Now, your forecast highs for today. Temperatures in the upper 50s in San Luis Obispo, also in Santa Barbara, low 60s area. Also, as you take a look at our forecast, uh, for the next several days, we're definitely going to be seeing these temperatures stick in the upper 50s. Not a lot of changes expected temperature-wise. You will see chances of scattered showers in the upper fi uh, for Thursday. Slight chances for Friday, rain likely for Saturday. Then it looks like we do have more sun for Sunday. But look, another round of rain for Monday and Tuesday. Lompoc forecast mid-50s for Thursday. Slight chances for Friday. Mild temperatures continue. Overnight lows looking pretty nice as well. We're not seeing any frost or freeze advisories this week. Those clouds and the moisture keeping us definitely warmer. Upper 50s Wednesday and Thursday. You look like we might get a little bit of drier conditions for Friday. Slight chances, though, still in the forecast. Rain likely for Saturday. More sun on Sunday. So if you have weekend plans to go outside, Sunday is going to be your day. Saturday is still going to be a bit rainy out there. Your forecast for the San Luis Obispo area temperatures stay in the upper 50s and rain likely again through Thursday and into Saturday. Tony, back to you. All right, Claire, thank you. More rain every single day this week. Well, sometimes with cold weather comes beautiful art. And mm -hmm. you want to check out these pictures coming from China. They're from the annual Harbin International Festival opening today. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. This winter wonderland features sculptures made of ice and snow and a castle standing 167 feet tall. The castle is poised to set the record as the world's highest and largest snow sculpture. The festival attracts millions of tourists each winter season. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That It looks kind of like Disneyland, but it's all ice. 
Wow. I would totally go there. Yes, seriously. <laughs> well, while many people frown at the <gasps> prospect of icy winter conditions, one man in the Netherlands shows how determined he is to make the best of a frozen situation. With nothing but skates in his imagination, the Dutch man who identifies himself as Strulu on Twitter turned an ice-covered road into his own personal skating rink. Wow. That's pretty cool. You have to have a lot of ice to do that, definitely, because what if you run to pavement? Stop, uh, that'd be yeah, bad news. Yeah, but it looks like they, they were in no shortage there. Look at no, all that. No shortage of ice in the Netherlands. Don't drive on that. No. Okay, coming up next at 6 o'clock, high winds and torrential rains capsized a Santa Barbara landmark. We'll show you the damage. And the CHP is asking drivers to slow down a tally of yesterday's crashes due to the weather conditions. And speaking of weather conditions, another round of rain this morning. Live storm tracker Doppler radar is starting to look like moving into Santa Barbara this morning. Some heavier rain moving through San Luis Obispo zooming in there. Again, we're seeing those scattered showers through past the Robles and even possible lightning moving towards Cambria this morning. But I do want to show you your forecast highs for today. Still pretty mild, upper 50s and slow in Santa Maria. Low 60s in Santa Barbara. Expect gusty winds up and down the coast for today. Another possible chance of some flash flooding, especially of those burn areas for today. Here is a live look outside this morning over Santa Maria. We are seeing again some rain moving up and down the coast. We'll have more coming up after the break.